Hello friends, welcome to Spicy Cat Colors with Kathy, that's me, and this is Huey. Well, his foot and his paw and his nose, because he decided to jump up here and I am just going to forge along. I'll probably stop before I start showing you the books, but I have a kind of big, like double digit of books that I have purchased from this website right here. This is a French bookstore website. And as many of you already know, thanks to the other amazing people in our community, uh, there are a lot of like Disney book coloring books, color by number books and non-color by number books through the publisher Hatchet Heroes, Hachette. Hatchet. I'm not sure how you pronounce it. I barely speak English, so please forgive any mispronunciations. And um, did I just jump into this so much without even saying hello to my seasoned friends? Welcome back. Hello to my new friends. I hope you will stick around. I am going to show you today my haul. Now, if you are a seasoned friend, you're like, Kathy, you said this is a no buy 2022. Well, in preparation for that, I did kind of a big buy in December, and I just haven't had a chance to show you. And then I was feeling sorry for myself, so I did a birthday shopping for me from this site. And yeah, now I want to show you. Some of them you've already seen in my completed pages, because again, I have most of these since December. But what I wanted to tell people before I started showing you the books is if you're not a Disney fan but you like, if you've seen those Disney color by number, they have them in the big books. They have non-Disney books out here. So I just wanted to show you the website, first of all. This is, it's L-I-R-E-K-A dot com. And you can go out there and you can choose to translate. Sorry, my husband left his other phone here and it is going crazy. So... Oh, wait, do I first have to get rid of my cookie? Oh, yeah. So I said, you know, yes, change it to English and then accept my cookies. So what I have found the easiest for me is when I search up here, say I don't want Disney per se, I will just start searching for the um, company. So sorry, I have a bit of a sneeze coming on. And I was trying to see if there was something. And they'll start to pop up. Maybe that's not it. Maybe, oh yeah, because you need to spell it correctly. Um, and then you can start to see like the Disney ones start popping up even before I finish typing. So I'll just go to see all results. <laughs> And from there, you'll start to find, like, these Disney color by number books. Which, if that's the ones you're interested in, what I personally have done is I'll, like, click on the book. And then, okay, this isn't a good example. Sometimes they'll have the artist listed. And you can find, like, all by that artist. Again not going to work for me when I'm trying to show you my examples. Oh, what can a girl do? Just her best. And that's all I'm trying to do. Huey, help me out here. Okay, seriously? Oh, here's one. Here it has. I didn't go down far enough. It'll have the author. Um, Jeremy Marez. Again, not really not pronounced right. So then I might search by his name. And if you go down further... Um, sometimes it'll have like company, editor, and then you can click on that and find others by them. But what I really wanted to show was, or if you search, what I've started to search for is, I believe, Color Riage is, um, coloring, maybe, I don't know. I'm trying to show you the ones that are not Disney. And I think the Disney are probably one of their most popular, but they do have, yay, here's one <laughs> that is animals that are non-Disney or non-Disney. So this is the same basic style, but they have, and I've seen some really pretty ones done. Um, 
some other books that I want to show you. And I do have one, two books that are not Disney, but it's pretty much it's just a dig around out here. So that is the website. I do have a link down in my description directly to the website. And there is a coupon code where you can have 10% off your first order if you would like using my a coupon code. And then I will get um, some store credit. Again, anyone that sets up an account has this, so if there's other coloring folks out here you want to support, check with them and see if they have it. Um, anyone use their coupon code? Or don't use a coupon code. I used a coupon code. And, oh, that's my dad and I. One of my favorite pictures. I sure do miss him. So I think I'm going to have to move Mr. Huey, because now we have his ham hock back here. And um, so I can start showing you the books. I'm going to give him love. I'm not going to just push him off, but I will be back momentarily. Okay, let's try and go through this quickly because there are four cats in the house. And I guarantee I have one sitting behind me on the chair, one in the front, and I had to clear my desk so I could do this. So that means they think they can come in. So I will also give you fair warning um, when I get to those that have answer keys I will give you a quick flip I'm not going to do a full like show all the answers if there's a book I'm showing you that you would like to see them I certainly can do it or you can search out here I'm sure somebody else has already done it but first up this is one of the non-Disney books I got out there and it is the baby animals and I personally like this style we'll go through some of the other styles so this is what they call their block and you can also search for this art therapy. Zoe, sit down. <laughs> and this is a smaller size and it is the mystery. So you open them up and you can kind of usually get a gist of what the animal is. It's your basic color by number. Here is one I actually did where I was kind of testing out different markers. Personally, I have found that this paper I believe the term we use is thirsty when it comes to alcohol marker. So kind of hard to tell, but this really light gray was alcohol. Then I decided water-based marker, although I'm going to get streaks. It actually works best on the paper. I think I might give a good old try with crayons or pencils. I'm not a pencil gal, but I can try it on these small pages. So this is 50 pages and... I want to say it was around $10 US. Also, the website, if you order through that website, you get free shipping. Their book prices may be a couple dollars more than if you were to like purchase them at a store. But I, in the States, I've never seen these in stores. And it's also worldwide free shipping. And I found it's much better deal than... Um, through Amazon. The books will pop up on Amazon as well. You can also check Book Depository, which I tried to order through them, and that's a whole big headache. I now understand. But shut your eyes quick if you don't want to see. I'm just going to do a quick flip. At the back of the book here, they give you to show what the fully completed colored pages look like. So that is what this book is there's the page I did. Obviously, their page looks much better than mine did. And yes, we have. Do you see her paws and her ears? Zoe are just trying to climb in here. She just turned 17, so I pretty much let her do what she wants. So this is the first book that I purchased. And then I have one other non-Disney book to show you. Okay, here is the other non-Disney book I purchased. And this is the same exact style, though, as most of the um, Disney color by number from Hachette Heroes that we see on Instagram and um, YouTube here. This is the same style, the same size. It's bigger than your normal 8.5 by 11 book, which, if you can believe it, I do not have a book within reach to show you. So trust me, Zoe's going to try and come up here again, but here, I have a piece of paper. Ugh, ugh. So here's a eight and a half, eleven 11 size piece of paper. The book's a little bit bigger than that. So I purchased the Animal Mystery. Um, again, search by 
this spelling, which is the French spelling of mystery or animal. I found I actually would go to Google Translate and if there were a topic, I would just like ask for the translate English to French and search for that word. And then you kind of start, fi start, start finding what you want. Oh, the other thing I was going to show you, again, so sorry if you are a new friend and you're wondering what the heck is up with this girl. Once you log in or once you go to the website, I recommend creating an account and I don't know if I'm gonna be able to log in if I remember my password um, and then you can star or favorite the um, oh it doesn't like it oh because I used the wrong Always helps to use the right email. So once you log in, you can do, if you notice all the, the books here have this little star up in the right hand corner, you can click that to favorite it. And then it'll have like, oh, so as I'm browsing, I like favorite a lot of things. And then I can just go back to it but you do need an account. So like here is another non-Disney that I thought I would like is cute. Um, I do have a lot of the Disney books, but we got Mystery Cats. This is one that I've seen beautiful work done in this book right here. So again, just a little tip to um, look on the website. Anyway, I'm an animal freak, so I got the Animal Mysteries. Of course, they have a cat's one as well. And this is a little different than my Disney ones, where the color palette here is up on the top. And it's a much larger. And again, I don't know if this is just this version of the book. I don't have enough to know if all of them are like this. It has a larger swatch. And then the page is actually a little smaller. The coloring page itself, the size, is, yes, much. It's smaller than 8.5 by 11. I would say it's um, 6 by 10, maybe, is the, whoops, bumped ya, the size of the actual space you color in. And again, this is like your color by number. To me, they're very similar to the... Um, What's the magazine that I like from Centennial Press? They do a Mystery Colors quarterly magazine. That's what these pages remind me of. So, again, I'm going to flip to the back and just do a quick little flip through. I've not done any pages on here. You can see these have some pretty nice large areas. This book itself is not very detailed. I think I might try and actually use acrylic or gouache paint on these because the spaces are so large like this has more detail than this but I have been using acrylic paint pens in my Disney books and I like that they are obviously double-sided so you need to use a water-based medium so that is the second one I bought now everything left is Disney just so you're aware if you're not a Disney fan um, hopefully you found the information I shared helpful and if you're a Disney fan, buckle up. So, I bought, I wanted, I've seen a lot of different versions of the book. So, all of these are from the Hachette Heroes. And this is, I forget what they call it. This is not the block, because the block are single-sided. So, this is... They're side bound and these are double sided. So I got the villains and in what I have seen a lot of this style of the book where it's the double sided, they have them broken up by chapters, I will say, themes. And then a lot of the pages seem to be wallpapery. Like, this is obviously wallpapery from um, Ratatouille. Here's a wallpaper. But it's not consistent. Like, here is your image, and there's wallpaper behind it. So if you wanted to use alcohol markers. So you kind of have to just decide what you want. This style, these ones, you get a bunch of pages. 
I don't know if it actually tells me how many images, 100. But in my opinion, unless you really like doing wallpaper or using this for like a type of journaling, uh, I would recommend the other style I'm going to show in a moment here. If you are looking for just pages to color, you are going to get a lot of, I think a lot more of this type of thing than a straight on image to color. So if it's again, but this, these books would be great again for a, um, journal like a, I hate the word junk, but you know, the junk journal or the glue book type of a thing. If you're a Disney fan, personally, what I would do is have this spiral bound and maybe take out the pages I know I wouldn't use unless you want to cover them up. I think that would be a great idea for these books if you are not into all of the wallpapery designs. My opinion it's only worth as much as it is to me because it's my opinion. Of course, I had to also get this one, <laughs> which is the, I'm not sure, I would assume this is cats and felines, but to me that would be the same. <laughs> but it's domestic and, um, domestic and wild type cats. So these have some interesting, I don't remember if the villains did, where you could like cut this out and I think it's supposed to be a bookmark can see these and this one has some it's supposed to cut out to be little tags you could make uh but this so here's the the like paper kit on the back where these are single-sided and then once again you get in here and you have um every image in this book has a cat of some sort And it doesn't seem like there's as many of the wallpapery style as in the villains book in here, but it could just be what I'm cruising through. So this book I like a lot better than the villains because to me there's more images I personally will be able to color. Um, and I'll think of something fun to do on the... Um, the, oops, sorry, my phone's still going over here, the wallpapery ones. But again, there's 100 pages in here. It's definitely a good value. Then here's the style I actually prefer. This is what they call the block. This is a mini block. So to me, that means they have a larger block style that I have seen. And these are bound at the top. I have not personally experienced because these are so new, but friends have told me that these will frequently um, kind of separate. They are perforated up at the top. I'm going to turn the book this way just because it's easier to flip. But the pages, they're glue bound. They're not perforated, but they do start to come out. They could separate and come out of your book. So be prepared for that. These have 60 pages. They are all single sided. And they are, I'm not going to say all, because here is a wallpaper page, but primarily, oh, I say that, and then look at all these wallpaper pages. So it's your personal preference between this and the square style. I like this style because even though the paper doesn't work that well, in my opinion, on alcohol markers, even some of my water-based markers will bleed through. Or these I could do like watercolors or any type of paint and I don't have to worry about as much with an image on the back. So of the smaller books, these are my preferred, this block style. So I got the cats and felines in the blocks. And then I got this one, which is mascots, I believe. I believe that would be like the sidekicks. And... Like, not, maybe not your main characters. I don't know. Some of these, it's kind of interesting. They've got almost a Zen Doodle style to them. So there's a lot of options in here. I think the next ones I want to get, there's some portraits. And there's several of the portraits. I believe that would be my next purchase. Because I think they have more the straight on characters. But again, this was my first time purchasing, so I looked for themes I knew I would like. And I have Disney mascots. Another thing that they carry, 
And again, everything I'm showing you, they have a non-Disney. So if you're not a Disney fan, you can find a different theme. Is the bookmarks. This, I got the baby's version. There are 50 bookmarks in here. I have not colored anything. You can see it is glue bound on top. So there may be the same issue. Let's zoom in a little bit with the um, images. It's not going to be too close. The images, or the images, the pages coming off. So this is your actual size of a Burke, Burke <laughs> bookmark. And they're very cute. So they are single-sided. So you can color them up and you could use them as an actual bookmark. They're a nice sturdy cardstock. They're a th are they thicker? Yeah, the books are an actual paper. These are a cardstock. So this is a thicker, more durable. And um, uh, other colorists out here I've seen shown these have the intention they color them and then you could have them laminated or use packing tape to protect them and use them as like page markers when just pages you want to color or when you're completed pages so I really want to get into these because I think they'll be quick and easy and yeah they're cute or you could color them and then like send them to a coloring friend just as a cute little piece of art so this is the Disney Babies bookmarks. Next is another style of book that they sell. This is, I think these are like the color by number that are maybe geared towards children, but we all know I don't put an age on a coloring book. So I obviously was in like a villains and babies and cats, it looks like theme. So I have not colored in here. This is color by number mystery. So, but I think there's maybe 30 pages. Oh, wait, I should be able to tell because it has the answers. 22 pages. So it's a much smaller book than the 100 counts. But it is Disney Villains. And these are double-sided. So you definitely would need to use water-based. As far as detail, some of them are a little simpler and others seem comparable to the larger style books. Uh, color palette on here is on the bottom. The color palette is not consistent throughout the book. Each page has its own color palette, so it's not like two is always orange red and you could color all the orange red. You do need to follow your palette on the bottom for each page. Shut your eyes quick. If you don't want to see, I will show you the completed pages a quick little flip they do give you an answer key at the back of your villains this seems to have a lot of talk for the disney fans are the black outline these look to have a either thick or a thinner black outline on all of the pages in here and some things are even colored in you can see they did the eyes in this book so I bought the Villains Mystery Color Magic. And then this one I'm so excited about. I did, this was part of my, I bought it for my birthday. And I love the movie Encanto. And there are several of this style with Encanto themes. So there's more than one out there. This is the one I purchased. I don't know the difference between them. Again, you'll just have to look. And this also has, I'm going to guess, 22 pages. Just going to point out, this mine did come with a flaw. This was obviously a printing issue, and I think I'll be able to fix it, but I have one page torn, and then you can see these pages are still connected. The paper didn't get trimmed and it folded. So I, I did notify them that of that, and... Um, Obviously, the pages are still fine, so I, I was just, like, kind of letting them know. Oops, sorry. already sneak peeked you. And they offered me um, a discount on my next order that I have to use before, like, May 15th. So, gosh darn it, I have to do another shopping. But these are all um, Encanto characters. And I'm going to sneak peek you because I did color a page. I colored the first page, and I used just water-based markers here of Mirabelle. And then I decided to add some washi across the bottom. This washi wasn't the best because it's somewhat transparent to color cover up the um, 
color code legend on the bottom. So I did this one page and now I will sneak peek you at the back a quick page through. This one has all the, I don't know, not all, but it has just like their single images of the different characters. You do have some repeats and there's one character. So I went through and like wrote all their names down because <laughs> while well, it was fresh in my mind, this is the one I can't figure out who she is. I have to watch the movie. So if you know who this person is, let me know. I couldn't find it online or anything, but that is Encanto Magic Mystery Colorages. And then I have, the rest are all the giant books, or the big books as we call them. I have seven of them. And prior to this December and March purchase, this was the only one I had. So this is not a new book to me. This is the one that I had purchased on Amazon is the um, Grand Classics Volume 3, and I loved it, but I've only cover colored not that many pages, so did I really need to get another one? No. I've colored four, five pages in here out of 100, and then I bought nine more books. Nine, did I say, or seven? Seven. Give myself a little credit. Seven, but... So this was Tomb 3. So what have I added to my Disney big book collection? Of course, guess what? I got the cat's book. They also have a dog um, book. So if you like the characters. And again, these are all your basic color key on the bottom. You got them up here. I'm not going to show you. I have some pages I did for April. And I will show just a quick flip of the back. So with a specific book like this where it's cats, you can expect, I mean, there are a lot of different cats in the Disney movies, but you will get repeats of movies and characters. So just be prepared of that. Um, and, you know, a lot of, not, there, I mean, there's obviously some browns and darker gray colors with animals but I think with Disney characters there's also so many bright colors it just makes it fun so you even got a Tigger in here and I think oh wait no this one I think I colored them in March so maybe I can show you my pages yes I'll show you the two pages I did color because these were in March so these are my two pages from this book that I have already colored I did this one completely water-based markers and this one I used acrylic paint pens which was really just on the cat and then I used water-based marker on the back so that is my cats and felines I purchased this baby's book first this is Disney babies and this, again, was one of my December. They have nice little flaps showing. I, obviously, I have a lot more to get. Not as many. So here's the dog book I was just telling you about. And they keep releasing new ones. So I have done a few pages in here. Let's see if I can show you the other ones. And I did this one. Tiana. So these are all your standard color by number, same style. I will do a quick flip of the back. If I can get to it. There you go. Again, there's full flips of the answer keys out there. It's just to give you an idea. So these are all Disney characters as babies, if they were a baby in the movies or if they made them into babies. Um, they have this nice flap at the back, which I personally use to like mark the page I'm working on <laughs> in case I need to reference back to it. So there is that. And then I have the other Disney babies. So this is Disney babies circles. Also the um, magic t style they call. And... This one doesn't give you any info on the inside. 
So all of these are circles. If you're familiar with quirkles, that would be what this style is comparable to, except they do give you a color key. A little difficult is like on this one, the color key is inside on the gutter, which is kind of difficult when you have this big of a book. Here it's on top. Here they're on the sides. So just... And then there's a couple different styles of circles. Now, I have not done any of this style. I don't think these will be my preferred. There's this one, and there is one other style. Let's see if I can find an example. This, where it's just all the little circles. So this will be my preferred. I Well, I can't say that because I haven't done these, but I did do one page in here. I did Baby Mickey, and I did him all in acrylic paint pens. And we'll do a quick little flip at the back. Here you can really see how those like individual little circle ones look. And where's the one other style to show you the example that I'm not sure. It just looks so out of focus. It makes my eyes blurred. So that's why it's not necessarily my favorite. And then I guess here's kind of the same. It's just here it's a full the full page is filled in, and here it's still those small circles, but they are not filling the page. So, personally, I like this style the best. So, if you like Disney babies, and this one, actually, I kind of like the circles because there's so many where you don't have to worry about the background. It's just the main character, which is fine by me sometimes. So, Disney babies... And continued in the new pile book, I uh, this is a newer, it's not the newest anymore, but this is a newer release. It is their, from their Disney Villains series. And so you can see already from that last one how many more they have added. And there's new ones since here. <laughs> I have not done any pages in here. These seem to be a lot more detailed, which is what I was looking for. I wanted to try a couple of the detailed books just um, to see how I like that. I think using the paint pens will be great for all these detailed and your color palettes are a lot more insane. <laughs> so a lot of these have little snippets filled in already. The super tiny stuff. And it looks like in this one I can actually read, even though they're super tiny, uh, I can actually read the numbers quite frequently in some of the other books. It's very confusing if it's an 8 or a B. Some of the, um, they I thought it was like a lighter color. So, and once again, quick flip of the pages to be found. Again, a lot of detail, which already the non-detailed ones take me longer. Normally I sit and finish a page in a day, but now I don't. This one though, they do have, um, and maybe they're doing this in all their newer releases, they've always been listing like the movie and the year it was released, but in this book they actually list the character name. So I greatly appreciate that. Because I continue to reference my um, Disney books. Oh, I should show you those too as part of this. Okay, I will do that in a moment. And then I just noticed on this back flap, um, this, it says it's supposed, I believe this means to test your colors. I'm not sure how that would work because this is a glossy cardstock versus the paper, but they do have that little bit of a tester page for you. So this is the villain's book. Next, I bought the Pixar, which I'm not sure what I got on there, but there's some pink stuff. This is um, Volume 2. I had ordered Volume 1 through um, Book Depository, but again, not impressed with Book Depository. It's like, if you don't have the book, don't put it on your site for sale. I think I had three books I had tried to order from there because I spent half a day comparing prices on um, Lyrica and Amazon and Book Depository and was like trying to be the most frugal. And then the books I ordered on Book Depository all ended up being canceled because they didn't have them. So I'm like, why do you have them listed? 
Some of you have had good experience with book depository, so wahoo for you. I was not so lucky. Okay, so this one is obviously all Pixar characters. Again, from the Pixar, there's only, this is the version one, and that has been out of stock on Lyrica. And I have not done anything in here. Again, these, really, to look at them, it's, you can't tell a lot other than there can be a lot of colors. So let's do a quick flip at the answer key. And just to give you a feel of the characters. Some very fun. I think I'm going to start now that I have so many. I might do like my wheel of um, where I use to pick a theme. I might enter two different ones. I might do one where I enter these books because what's been working for me is I just like pick one of the big books a month and I just work in that one and I usually can get two to four pages done. Or I might put the movies in and then from any of my books pick those movies. Okay, two left. We're almost done. And then some bonus books at the end. I picked up volume one. This is the original Grand Classics. I do plan to collect all of them at some point, although not a huge rush because, again, there's 100 pages in these. So I thought I may as well start from one. And this one, this these also will list the artist, the illustrator. So like I said, this is Jeremy Morez. Um, did I just try and roll my R like I'm speaking Spanish? Anyway, um, this so you can, and there's the other artists are listed, so that's another way to search for them. So this was part of my birthday. Here, I didn't even go, look at this beautiful, you could translate this all if you cannot read French. But it shows you, here's what the page looks like, and then once it's colored in. So, have not done anything in this book. So, it's definitely a lot of fun colors in here. And I believe these all have the black outlines. Let's check the answer key to find out. Um, I have seen other coloring friends, I was say Disney coloring fans out there, often because these that have the black outlines, they may just sit down and go through the whole book and work on just do the black and then come back to do the pages. Or if uh, there's another lady that does acrylic paint and she mixes her paints for these. So if she made too much of a color, she will jump ahead to try and find that same color on another page to use up the paint. There's no rules in any type of coloring. I just am happy to say it's your book and you do what you want. Be creative, follow the suggestions. It's all about having fun. So I got that one. And the last coloring book from this haul is I did get Tomb Nine, which I think at this exact second is the newest book. But again, I know they have some new ones already set for release, so I'm probably wrong. So this one I also got because I wanted some of the more detailed. So here it shows you the volumes. And again, you're going to get repeat characters once you start to collect these. Um, some may be almost exactly the same image. It's If you're a Disney fan, you won't mind, I don't think. And if you find something or a character you don't like, well, try something new on that. This one I have been busy in. I'm not going to show you. I did four pages all in a row, and they will be in my April completed pages. So I thought this was going to be a more detailed one, but I can tell you that the villains book is a lot more detailed. The majority of these, I think there's some, but you probably can't even tell. I'm just telling you that they're not as detailed as the villains book. And I have heard the princess's book is also very detailed. So let's look at some examples, solutions, and well, uh, other people have been have pointed out this does as the newer releases will have the more recent movie releases usually put in them. So um, onward isn't I mean the newest, but I know there are pages in here from Encanto. Not a lot, but. Um, you get some from the newer. Here we have Soul, 
which was 2020 release. Here is an Encanto. Um, so you get a nice blend in characters. Some characters, you, if you're like me, like, who is that? And others are your favorites. I finally just watched this. It's not a new one. Um, Good Dinosaur. And that was a super cute movie. I love. Luca's in here. I believe Rhea. I don't know. I thought there was a Rhea in here too. But anyway, these are the peeks at what is in here. Again, they, I guess they all have that little test page. So those are the coloring books. Phew! This is a long one, and this is only like a snippet of the hauls I need to film. So the other thing I was going to show you, again, this is more if you're a Disney fan, and I am not the first person to suggest this or mention this or reference this. I just thought since it's on my channel and it is a Disney, primarily <laughs> Disney um, coloring book haul, I wanted to show a great reference, and I ended up buying both. I don't know... Um, if I needed both because a lot of these Pixar, this does say Disney and Pixar, are in here. So these are reference books and they come out with new updates as new um, movies are released. And I think this one is I found easier. I'm just going to give you a quick look. I bought these on Amazon, but I bought them through third-party sellers, I think Goodwill. So... Um, I was fine with that. I'm sure you could find them in still bookstores. So this one, you have to know your character name, which my problem is when I'm doing a lot of these color by numbers, I don't know the character name, so I want to find the reference. But here, these are all, and they're not in this contents. They're in not alphabetical order. They're not in, I think maybe they're in movie order. I am not even sure. Um, <laughs> it says here, um, the book is organized in chronological order. Well, I'm not enough of a fan to know that Toy Story evidently was the first one, and then the last one in here is Coco, and that sequels then are included with the original movie. So if you're that smart, good for you. Is there also an index at the back? So in the back index, they do have the movies listed so you have multiple ways to look but as far as going through the book it doesn't I'm a I'm a weird organized brain um I want it alphabetical by movie so you start out with Toy Story which to me is weird but it tells you about the character and the thing that is so important what I bought these for is it shows you I think the other one shows it better but I'm just giving you the the flip here. It'll show you the character. And I use these to get the color reference of these characters. So this is a fun little book though, even if you have kids that love Disney movies, I bet they would love this book just to see all of their characters in one spot. So this is kind of just a quick little, and this is a nice glossy paper. It's a decent book just for me. It's not going to work quite as well. It'll just take me longer to find. And you'll see what I mean here in a minute. So this is the one that is the Disney Pixar character encyclopedia. It says new edition. Should check if it has the publication date on here. That would be helpful. Well, it's not printed where one would normally expect it to be printed. I guess it's on the back page. This one says 2019 so this was updated 2019 supposedly and since i did get it as a used there's a little bit of damage but to be honest my cat could have just done this so the book i prefer as a reference book is this one right here the disney who's who a and a to z of disney characters revised and updated i expect they will be having a new one of these out before you know it this was copyright 2020. So here they have the movies in alphabetical chapter order. And on the back index, they do have, you could find the exact character and find pages with them on it. 
So what I really like about this one is it has, like, to me, the actual character in the animated form. I don't know if this is even making sense. Can you just see the difference between the art, art styles? Um, this is almost more realism to me. And maybe it's like cropped right out of the movie. Whereas when I'm doing a coloring page, it's going to be more animated style. I don't know if that makes sense. I'm just trying to tell you because what... I use this for is number one when I don't know the character's name that I'm coloring in one of the mystery books I want to know it and I want to check their actual colors um, seasoned friends you may remember the terrible um, baby rue incident where I had the George Foreman style tan because I royally messed up my color because I was color matching with the color key and not what they actually are. So let's see again if I'd planned this out it would have made more sense. I'm going to just try and find an answer key for you where you may question or understand what I mean. So when they do the Disney pages uh, of course, this book won't have any of the examples where I'm trying to find it. They kind of take a snippet. This is my belief. I do not know. I do not work for Disney. Why can I not find one? <laughs> um, from the movie, they take like a snippet. So here we go. So like here we have this one from Hercules and I'm not sure who that bear is from. But you can see it is a very dark color palette. Now this character, do you think we can find him? Could I be that organized to find the Hercules guy? Hunchback Hercules, Hercules. Probably I'm not gonna find this little guy because... Is that him? No. Okay, there you go, I tried. I already failed, <laughs> but I'm sure this isn't his dark color. So what I want to do is see what the color is actually from the movie. And then I try and match the character's color, not always based on what the image is. Does that make sense? Hopefully here's, here's a Hercule. Maybe it'll help. Again, I'm sorry, if you're a new friend, you probably already left because you're like, this girl doesn't know what she's talking about. She's beyond rambly. So here you go. This is what I'm trying to explain in a very poor, 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 poor term. Okay, here we go. Right here in Hercules. This is Phil somebody. So you can see the color of his skin. And his nose is pink. His horns seem to be purple and pink in this coloring page. But if you look at the book where they talk about him, you can see, oh, it's more of a peachier skin tone. He has a red nose, kind of orangey red hair and brown horns. Does that make sense? If you put them side by side, you can see the difference. So if I colored this page using their color palette, it might perfectly look fine, but sometimes it looks like Rue has a bad sunburn. So long story long, that is what I love this reference book for. Um, prior to having the book, I would Google and look up images online. But for me, that was not very helpful while I'm coloring to have to com frequently pull up because I just have my phone and I'd have to, you know, unlock it and find the page again. And I just wanted the reference to be open. So there you go. Longest Disney haul ever or Lyrica <laughs> um, haul because 
that's me. Again, I hope you found any of this helpful. I hope you're as ex excited as I am for my coloring and I am trying my darndest to like not have uncolored books. So anything new I am trying to do coloring in um, before I put it on the shelf. I've been doing okay, but this is a lot of books. So I have a lot more to go. And my friends, I think I will let you go because this is way too long. I appreciate you popping in. I know I'm pretty infrequent on posting and that may continue, but I will try to post as I can. And I hope everybody is doing well wherever you are, whatever is going on in your life. Hang in there if it's a tough time. Ride the fun if this is a good time right now and hold on to it. And lock that away in your memory bank because we all need to have those memories when things are not so great. <coughs> Excuse me. And I think, my dear friends, that is all I have for you today. I appreciate you stopping by. And in case nobody has told you lately, you matter. You are beautiful. You are lovely. Even if you have a George Hamilton sunburnt piglet type skin tone, it's okay. You are beautiful just the way you are. We are not what we appear on the outside all the time. There is so much more to us. And um, let's try not to get hung up on all the things we don't like about our appearance and just focus on the amazing person we are and what we offer to the world. Because it's a lot. It really is. Okay, friends, I will talk to you again another day. I love you guys. Bye.